So as the site has been stuck at around 45,000 sessions for the past six months. I believe the issue is authority since the niche is pretty competitive, but all the competing sites use a different link building strategy. For example, one competitor has nearly 50 301 redirects in the past year. Oh my God. <laughs> There's also another competitor which was built on a large expired domain but doesn't seem to be doing much active link building. So basically there's a bunch of like black hat stuff going on so far in the niche. Mm -hmm. um, other big competitors are blah 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 and blah 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 which are four times the size of my site but don't seem to have that many more quality links. My site ranks on the bottom of page one and the top of page two for some big keywords, but I'm debating which direction to take it. Contemplating 301s, PBNs, traditional guest posts, and niche edits. Let me see a site. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's, I mean, as blog rolly as you can get with a uh, site, especially, I mean, it's doing I really that's well. Okay, though. Well, yeah, it's just. You know, not uh, fleshing out the yeah. menus, not having That's interlinking true. on the sidebars, not having interlink. Oh yeah, you've got a related articles. Um, one down here. Is it all about this AdSense. one city? It's all about the one city, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's very niche down. I think. Um, yeah, you could, fact, like you were saying, so many articles. He could do more with like theming the homepage. Like the title tag is just blah, and the. The categories on his menu have nothing to do with the city or anything. I, I just feel like you, like you were saying, he could do a lot more to kind of like theme the site around the city to just give more relevance right at the root of everything. Yep. Because you know, like for example, and we can say this, but your categories, you know, for restaurants, it just goes to backslash restaurants, and you don't have a URL that's partial mat. Well, maybe they want to expand match. at some point. Maybe they're just starting with the one city. Well, that's um, fine. Then you still would name the category restaurants, whatever city, yeah. right? Um, uh, I mean, that's just something I would personally do. Or like here, slash restaurant slash city. the city name. Yeah. Yeah, that could work too. Um, um, but for now, it's literally three main categories about the same city right mm -hmm. so maybe flesh that out a bit especially since you don't have um any relevance to the city the permalink or the url structure is going to tell google the most about what a page is about it's a huge ranking factor so um you know you'd want to put that geographic relevance in there at some point somewhere in there um, now your articles themselves you have done that and so I imagine that's helping you quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, another thing is you've got, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to argue because it's working, but on a personal level, I would probably come in, I'd probably make the homepage more newspaper, um, newspaper style, more crawlable. Um, I would maybe do some sidebar linking and stuff, but it's hard to argue it because AREFs shows that it's doing well. However, it's not surprising to me that AREFs might say something like that and then analytics is showing something uh, that's a lot flatter. Um, I was actually talking to a buddy about that the other day. Um, so, okay, you know, from an on-page standpoint, it looks like things are relatively good, but yeah. there could be some tweaks in here worth squeezing out a little extra with, right? Yeah. Um, so jumping in, overview for AREF shows things um, doing pretty well. Um, you know, over the last year, you've gone from 14,000 relative on November 1st, 21, to now 43,000. Um, it's showing a steady improvement here in the graph, um, but from what you're saying, it's pretty plateaued and it's been like that for at least six months which analytics isn't you know it, it's going to give you an accurate accurate depiction of what's going on um jumping into your anchors here right out of the gate and actually let me go back to overview is this the same guy that gave us the last site to audit no nope, don't think so really 
it's just so it's so weird to me. The sights like feel the same, and then uh, this one, this one, I feel like is much cleaner on the actual website, and they did a good job with their on page and whatnot. If you say so. Um, I mean, it's just, it, it's just more like, like it's yeah, very it's, basic, it's, but. It's AdSense, very basic, stock images with walls of text. Um, yeah, but they at least split it up with good uh, yeah, tags and stuff. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's cleaner. Well, so then um, in the overview in AREFs, looking at it, you've got 756 referring domains with a DR of 13. So that stands out to me as probably not very high authority, um, which I think he said, right? Anchors, we come in and we see it's not quite as bad as the last one, but similar link building um, from spammier places. Lots of uh, exact match from Web 2.0s again. So about only 300 of his links are not Web 2.0s. So he's basically got 300 links. Which is still, you know, even having a DR13 with 300 links still does seem a little bit low. But it's not as bad that if you're looking at the number 7, you know, almost 800 backlinks. But, uh, yeah, so, you know... Just looking down it, would you say that anchor text profile looks natural or pretty off? I'm going to take the web 2.0s out. And let's see. Um, no. It's got these very unnatural anchors that have been repeated across sites. Yeah. Uh, these long anchors that you see people do sometimes. It might just be like natural spam that's doing that. I don't really know. I mean, definitely, it, it's got some like, it's got a good amount of URL anchors in it, but it's, I feel like I see this sometimes too. You see these sites have a, a bunch of URL anchors that come along with kind of like spammy link building, mm -hmm. along with these kind of like, I don't even know what you kind of call these anchors, but they're more like titles than anchors. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's like the entire title is a uh, anchor. I mean, this stuff, again, it's reminiscent of when you order a big link blast from something on Fiverr, um, mm. you get a bunch of stuff like this. And especially when you let them pick the anchors, um, you know, or they ask you for anchors and you're not really sure what you're doing, but you've got, you know, over a thousand referring domains with like 20 different anchors, like it comes out looking like this. Um, but, okay, then looking at the backlinks itself, you know, it's the, it's still the same story. So... Yeah, your off page has a lot to be desired, but same as the last asset that we took a look at, um, right now is a good time to prod with some authority links. So I think what you were thinking as far as ordering a higher quality link uh, for your foreseeable campaign, um, that's a good recourse of action here. Um, you know, obviously your site's doing well in the SERPs according to what AREF says, so um, you know, even if you feel kind of plateaued in analytics, I would say it's a good time to maybe do a little bit of on-page revamping and then do higher authority links from here on out and see how uh, prodding with that is going to work for this particular money site. I'm just pulling up some of his competitors real quick if you want to kind of keep talking. I mean, that's basically it, though. Um you know, if your site is showing some kind of improvement or it's kind of, you know, at least staying in the SERPs that you're attacking um, and you haven't done any authority backlinking, then that's a opportune time to do it. Um, yeah, because here the main thing is, again, off page has a lot to be desired. Yeah, so just going um, back to what we were talking about before with the, with the, you know, 
the off page we we don't think it's very natural but the site also isn't having any problems right now so as long as you move forward and kind of move forward in a different way you know i don't really see it as too big of a problem hopefully it's not too big of a problem but especially considering how spammy his comp or how uh aggressive and kind of black hat his competitors is are um I don't know. Maybe it's just like one of those <laughs> niches yeah. where I mean, Google's I could see I could see this go. geographic region having a spammy yeah. link profile just based on yeah, you know what goes on there. And I'm picturing like just how it is walking around. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I imagine there's a lot of spamming that goes on in the back end too. So looking at a couple of competitors real quick. So just remember the one we looked at. He's got 756 referring domains, but it's actually 300 that are not Web 2.0s and a DR of 13, which is quite low. First competitor, DI, DR46, 2,000 referring domains. Second competitor, he gave us DR43, almost 2,000 referring domains. Uh, next competitor, he gave us DR22, about 2.5K you know, referring domains. So all of these sites have considerably higher DR according to Ahrefs, but also a considerably higher number of referring domains as well. So, you know, in, in his question, he, he talked a lot about it as competitors and was basically saying that all the sites seem bigger and, you know, basically a ton more backlinks built in him. And I would say that's a pretty solid assessment. You know, when, when your competitors all look like they just have a ton more backlinks than you, um, you know, it's just the nature of the game, right? Uh, there's, I, I feel like there's really not much you're going to be able to do to, to get around that other than um, writing, I mean, you know, covering a ton of articles on the, on the niche, like it looks like you're already doing. Um, but some of these, some of these websites that you're competing against, like we talked about before, they are much more relevant. Like they're the, they have like the city like built into their domain name, like right into it. And so every backlink they're building to their website, they're just getting so much more relevance for the for the city than you are. I think you're actually the only one on out of all these sites that you've mentioned. You're the only one that the domain name itself isn't about that city. Um, and I was going to say, you know, when, when sites do have a lot more backlinks than you, one of the ways that you can beat them is by going hardcore with the relevance, right? Which really includes like kind of niching down the site. Um, so even though your domain name, you don't have the city in the domain name, which I think could actually, uh, I, it could be a big disadvantage, I think. Um, you could still try to theme the site out more fully, uh, but with some of the things we talked about earlier, by just like kind of theming out your homepage or making your categories more specific for that city and just building the city name into the URL structure, things like that. Um, yeah, but, um, you know, both of the things you said are, are, are hurdles for you, right? The, the link gap, you know, the, the amount of links you basically need to catch up to these guys, but also the topical authority gap. You had mentioned a couple of the sites are also like double the size of your site, which is also a thing, right? Um, you know, something uh, the SEOs talk about quite a bit these days, which is uh, basically topical authority, which is the idea is basically just writing a ton of different articles about the same kind of, uh, you know, just in your niche. And so if a site has double the amount of it, they essentially have double the topical authority of you. Google says, well, hey, they have a lot more information on this city than you do. So like, why are why should we think you're the expert over them? So you have, you know, you have half the amount of articles they have, and they have uh, four times the amount of backlinks as you do. So it's just, uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Basically, you, you're going to have to, I think, do a little bit of everything, right? If you want to catch these guys, you pump out more articles, uh, theme your site more specific to the city. And um, yeah, get get to building backlinks, right? Because these guys are um, you know, quite a bit higher authority and uh, than you are. But the good thing is, is that even though they have like 2K backlinks or whatever, their DR actually isn't that high. Their DR is like only in like the the low 40s, which you know for uh, for a newer SEO or whatever, someone who's not really built a bunch of links before, maybe that kind of seems a little bit high. But it's really not. I feel like DR. Like once your DR starts getting into like the 60s, that's when I'm like, okay, these got this is like, 
this is like some some heavy duty link building here but like you know the, the fact that they're still in the 40s even with thousands of backlinks means that um, essentially their, their backlinks aren't like super authoritative um, so maybe a little bit of a um, an angle for you to to work in there you know building building out your authority um, might not be as hard as it seems even though they have so many more links I've been rambling for a while Nick do you have anything to say Another solid opportunity that you could look into, especially if this um, site is just going to be geared towards this specific city, um, maybe you're not planning on branching out at all, um, is look for a very relevant 301. Um, maybe something with that city in the actual URL um, or with a ton of referring domains specific to that city. You're saying um, find, that, find, something, find a site and 301 it to his site Yes. Okay. Yeah, it'd be a. It looks like a good time, um, or it could be a good opportunity. But again, specific to that city, specific to that geographic region, um, since that, uh, if that's what this website is going to be directed. It could probably just be any kind of kind of like local business based in that city, though, as well. Just that has a bunch of relevance. What yeah, you, it has a lot of relevance. Yeah. Um, because they because the they talk URL about a bunch of different stuff on the site. You know, it's RD. like food, travel, mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff. So if you just get yeah. some kind of a bunch of just Las Vegas stuff just pounding into there, then it could be some good for you, for sure. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, and so at the very end of his question, he, had, he was asking about uh, types of links, uh, um, 301s, PBN links, traditional guest posts, niche edits. So Nick gave you, has the 301 option there. He mentioned one of his competitors has 50 301s. I think we can both say that we would not go that route, um, especially in you know 2022, maybe 10 years ago or something. But I feel like that's really asking for trouble. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't look at that as an opportunity. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of 301s. That's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, you know, as far as... As far as we approach link building, we kind of like to build uh, very like sustainable projects that um, you, you know could go on forever essentially, and that you would not have a hard time offloading if you ever decided to sell it. Yeah. Um, and so you you know you have a site with fifty three hundred ones or a site that's propped up by PBN links. Good luck, good luck selling it. You know you're gonna have a much harder time if that's what your goal is. Um, so, you know. Our advice to you, I think, would be the same, which is you can use some PBN links, but use them as a small part of your backlink profile. Um, we like to send a lot of PBN links to the homepage of the site, you know, with pretty natural anchors, branded anchors, stuff like that. Um, you could start by kind of diversifying your backlink profile a bit. So, for example, our low authority niche edits packs, our barrage niche edits packs are good for this. Uh, you know, it's links on natural sites, on real sites, but uh, they're super low authority. And so they're cheaper and you can use that to essentially kind of dilute your um, your anchor text profile and your backlink profile just to have a higher balance of natural sites in it with natural anchors compared to what it is right now. And then after that, you know, after you do some diversification with some maybe some pillow links some diversity links, some low authority niche edits, then we're pretty much just working in um, for your side, I would say just mid to high authority uh, guest posts and edits. Um, you know, you can do your home pages and inner pages. Just make sure you're building a good amount to your home page um, as well. You know, really don't skimp on the home page. It makes every, ranking everything else easier. And yeah, like I was saying before, you can do some PBNs, but uh, we use them pretty sparingly and send them mostly to the home page to, to avoid looking um, too uh, spammy or aggressive or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, that that's what our advice would be. If you want to go with something, uh, you know, more aggressive and more black hat than that, you definitely could. Um, it's just uh, not how we approach things uh, for sure. But they, they can definitely work. But then the question is always, how long is it going to work for, right? And especially if you're going to try to sell this thing at some point, then it could definitely uh, yeah, be a, create an obstacle for yourself. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and happy ranking.